kind of tying it full circle. I mean, kind of what I started was talking about in the beginning was that like that idea of there is no reality. There's a situation. There's your perception of good and bad about it. But there's also like that is all there is. There is your current reality. And there's that perception of like, how am I going to take every day? Right. Yeah. Am I going to have a good outlook on it? Uh, and like, yeah. And like having like acknowledging that when you're in yourself, but then if you're able to give other people the grace to understand mm-hmm. like their perspective, it's yeah. like what they see is also their reality. Yeah. And does that change how we interact with one another and have us like allow us to have more grace mm-hmm. with it instead of just being like, this is the absolute thing. Hmm. Takes right back to the beginning of, you know, totally. <laughs> I think the, one of the biggest takeaways takeaways I've had from just some of the studying of the like is that acceptance and grace for other people in their shortcomings mm-hmm. and understanding that um, mm. if I can, um, I, I, I think sometimes you can have a, a cynical outlook on somebody and the way that they will fault you or um, and you kind of take it personally and you take it as like a shot mm-hmm. and having that grace and reasonableness and understanding of people are fallible and that uh you know perception or perceptions are different and realities may be a little bit different and you can kind of approach things with a little bit more grace and reasonableness that has kind of changed the way that i've interacted with people kind of started thinking about people mm. now we've now more we've, grace i feel like now in the past like couple of minutes now we've been saying the word your reality over and over mm-hmm. again maybe your reality is going to replace your truth on social media yeah but like, I think I, have, I think I appreciate your reality more than your truth. Well, I think <laughs> like you could ask, like, I feel like it's a philosophical question of like, do you actually have anything other than your reality? No. Right. Because even like, thinking about the past or the future is what's having effects on you presently. Mm-hmm. Right. And so like, we actually don't have anything but our <laughs> present reality. And what does that even mean? Well, then you like, fall into like narcissism where like your reality is the only thing. Right. And nothing else exists. Right. Uh, how do we know? Not super healthy. No. <laughs> right. No. How do we know that when I look up at the sky and Corey looks up at the sky that we see the same blue? Mm-hmm. Like we can both call it blue. Right. But that doesn't mean that we actually see the same color. No. Correct. Colorblind people you can can't... recognize what, like oh, it's a spectrum, but they can say that this right. is blue, but they don't see the same blue. Mm-hmm. Right. So... So what do we need? More grace? Grace, reasonableness, self-correction. I'll give Jerome Matt all of that. Some of it. 